why do you why do you think you know Hunter you you, you and you, I, I believe even Ben Child said this as well too. Why do you think you guys fell a little behind schedule? Um, honestly, really and truly, I think the biggest culprit falls back to that you know just being in that long extended surplus. That and then, you know, when we started the prep, you know, when we started prep at 16 weeks out, I was, you know, waking up like 288, 289, going to bed over 290 every day and, you know, in reasonably good condition. <laughs> so, you know, seeing that we started bringing me down and, you know, at that 12 week mark, we were really happy with how things were going. So in our minds, it was kind of like, OK, well, let's, you know, keep on you know, <laughs> gradually bringing it down. And you know, I feel like we wasted, you know a week, two weeks, maybe even three, if you want to say that before, like, okay, we need to speed up. And, uh, you know, anytime you're dealing with someone, you know, like my size, it's been my experience that anytime you step on the gas in a way, you know, that wasn't planned and wasn't expecting is it's not the best scenario. You know, the bigger you are, the more gradual things need to be done, in my opinion. So, you know, the fact that we had to step on the gas like that, uh, we did get behind and it, it definitely altered the look, you know, headed in. Um, you know, I know it's like probably a little bro sciency, but I think you would all agree with me, you know, like the new tissue is the first tissue to go when you prep. And, you know, so a lot of that really hard earned tissue that I felt I put on my back this off season, I feel like we ate up trying to get me in shape. So, um, yeah, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I'd love to be able to go back and do it again. But, you know, the nice thing is, is we are going back and doing it again this year with the notes from last year. So, like I said, slingshot year. Well, Hunter, how old are you now? You got plenty of time uh 30 yeah I'm 30. yeah you got plenty of time it's like yeah, this uh, is like your this is like your first real loss too really i mean if you think about it right right so yeah i've, I've never lost a show outside of an olympia still i've won all my pro shows and i won all my amateur shows that's already hall of fame caliber okay danny you want to you want to ask him a question no i mean i was just gonna say so you feel like you you get better um <clears throat> the more shows you do not the more shows you do but so you're gonna do two you feel like you get better like going along and then uh, so this is going to be the first time that i've ever done like multiple shows back to back like that so i can't tell you how i think that's gonna go i can't be like yeah i think i'll be pretty good at the first one and like really fucking on at the second one or vice versa um obviously just trying to show up to my best to both but more so than that i know for a fact you know after i get done with that second show and uh you know i'm gonna have a good decent little bit of time between that and the olympia I will be able to, you know, rebound with everything still in place and really get some good size and out of that. So, and it'll set me up for a really good spot for that Olympia prep because, you know, I'll be, you know, call it maybe five or six weeks out, shape tops when I'm starting that prep. So, hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.